I'm kind of nervous. You're kind of nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> There's no need to complicate it, dress it up or overstate it. Without too much hesitation, here's the way I feel. Well, I like you. I like you. Even when I don't try to Yes I do, that's the truth I like you I was gonna get a shot of you while you're retrieving with the ring Yes Let me make a cast Oh That was not a good looking yeah. cast that was, a, that was a horrible cast <laughs> Kind of classic that uh, guys are fishing and the girls are putting on makeup. Right. Am I nervous? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of not though. Honestly, I ain't nervous. She's in there right now, probably looking beautiful as all get out. Just taking your mind off of it. Yeah. Put your mind on. I'd like you to catch one. That would really take my mind off things. I've been shaking them off. I can't. <laughs> I see, I see Tyler and, and Hannah walking down, and, and I kind of did a double take. I, I was, I was confused because I didn't know they were setting Tyler up with a model. If you've seen Hannah, I was like, what in the world? Like, who, who set this guy up with her? Um, <laughs> that's true. That's true. The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a sacred covenant between one man and one woman who are totally committed to each other as companions for life. And the two of you are a shining example of the reality that God's way is always the best way. Wouldn't it be amazing to get to heaven one day and meet people there who discovered the love that Jesus has for them because of the way the two of you loved each other and reflected his love to others in every area of your marriage? Two, three. God, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for the gift that Tyler is in each of our lives. So excited to see the two of them just be joined in one flesh, Lord, like you say in Mark. Um, God, that, that they would chase after you harder than they chase after each other. Yeah. Um, it's so hard to have strength without having you at the center of our lives, Lord, so I pray that they would just make you the main focus um, in the gospel or their main drive. I pray that today anyone that doesn't know you um, would just be granted an opportunity to know you mm -hmm. through the relationship. Um, I pray that your name would just be screamed through the two lives um, that are at hand today, God. And I just thank you so much for your gospel and thank you for Tyler and Hannah again. They're, they're such a gift to us and they're such a gift um, to every single person that's going to be in attendance today. We are gathered here together today. <laughs> Before you open it, it is a sponsor to the channel, but I did buy these myself. <laughs> at, a, a discount? at a discount. At a discount. Tyler can.
Vincent Anderson. Today's the day we've been waiting for. Every single day for the last nine months has led us here. Today is the day we become one forever. Your character, kindness, thoughtfulness, encouragement, and desire to put Christ first in everything adds indescribable joy to my life. I am so thankful for you, for loving me so well, for pursuing me always, and for choosing to spend your life with me. You make me love Jesus more, and I am the luckiest girl in the world to call you mine. Dear Hannah, this gift, while not requiring near as much money to acquire as your rings, nor requiring near as much craftsmanship as something made by hand, is more important than any gift I have gotten you thus far in our relationship. One of the first things that drew me to you on our first date was your love for reading and understanding God's Word. Over our two years of dating, I saw you consistently dive into God's Word, always making a habit of taking notes down about His character and how the words of Scripture apply to your life. Here are a few things that I am praying over us on this day and going forward. I pray that as we search for satisfaction, we would find it in Christ alone and not in something that seems more expedient. As we enter into this lifelong covenant together, I pray that our souls will never cease to be amazed by the goodness of our God. Our hope is not built on a fantasy, it's built on a reality. It's a living hope that is here to guide us together towards eternity. I love you, Hannah, always, Tyler. I love you with my whole heart, Tyler Anderson. Let's get married. Amen to that. I like that one. Hey, what's up? Hey. How you doing? Hi. I'm, I'm kind of good. Oh my gosh. I love you. Oh my goodness. Well, my hands are cold. I don't know why. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Oh. oh my gosh. Holy cow. Whoa, this thing, whoa. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my voice just cracked. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so sweet. I love you. I love you. Oh. I didn't know if I was going to cry. And I'm crying a lot. You are gorgeous, Hannah. <laughs> so oh, handsome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you look so handsome. Oh, your dress is like, you're so cool. Oh, look at the back. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad that I don't wear makeup because I would, I'd be losing it right now. Oh, you are so pretty. Oh, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know we're getting married. <laughs> How do you what feel? the heck? I'm excited. Me too. I'm nervous. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. I don't know how I landed you. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Uh, Lord have mercy. Okay. What are we supposed to do now? Yeah, can, let's, let's just pray real quick, please. Okay. Dear Father. Um, Oh, it's hard to pray when you're crying. Um, God, we just thank you so much for this time. Uh, thank God that you ordained. <laughs> this is really hard. Oh, okay. uh, God, you, uh, you planned this time before we were even born. Um, when you were creating the world, God, you set this time into being. Um, we just pray for the rest of the day that God, someone would come, would come to Christ tonight because of our influence. Father, we love you and we trust you um, as we spend the rest of our night together and the rest of our lives together that you will be working through us and in us. We trust you. We thank you. In your son's name we pray, amen. Amen. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, oh I'm so, I just snorted. Okay. 
let me get a rag and we'll go take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nothing like that in all the world. You look beautiful. Thank you. And you don't look too bad yourself. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. And Jerry, you did a great job getting her down the aisle. Congratulations. <laughs> Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. <laughs> so the day is finally here. We've waited for this, and as we come to this very special moment, you're surrounded by family and friends who love you and care for you very deeply. Everyone here celebrates with you God's goodness and grace in bringing you to this day. This day has been prayed for by both of you and certainly by your parents since the day you were born. As you're both well aware, marriage is not a man-made institution, but instead it was God's idea that began with this statement in Genesis 2:18. It is not good that man should be alone. God didn't just leave us to solve this problem on our own, but instead His design and plan from the very beginning was that we would first live in relationship with Him and then in relationship with each other in this sacred covenant that we call marriage. Then in Ephesians chapter 5, Paul says marriage is actually intended to be a reflection of the love that Jesus has for His bride, the church. In fact, as husband and wife, you are to love and cherish each other just as Christ does His church because your love for each other will be a bright light in a dark world that desperately needs to know the love of Jesus. Tyler, will you take Hannah as your wedded wife and choose to love her with Christ being your example and guide in the covenant of holy matrimony? I will. Hannah, will you take Tyler as your wedded husband and choose to love him with Christ being your example and guide in the covenant of holy matrimony? I will. And Tyler, you have also written vows to Hannah, so I would like for you to read those to her now. Oh, I hope I can get through these. Here we go. Um, Hannah Marie Gosser. Oh, I'm already going to cry. Good grief. Uh, King Solomon asked in Proverbs 31.10, a wife of noble character who can find? For she is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her, and she lacks nothing of value. On Saturday, June 9th, 2018, I was texting while driving out of the Pine Cove Christian Camp property, and I almost T-boned a white Lexus who was also leaving. As I slammed on my brakes, I got a glimpse of a beautiful brunette driving that Lexus. As I thought I recognized her from somewhere, so after some stalking on Instagram, I found out that it was, in fact, the girl that I had seen in some of my friend's pictures. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> figuring I would never see her again, I wrote it off as a rare glimpse of an angel, but little did I know that girl that I almost collided into would be the woman God had chosen for me to spend the rest of my life with. Tyler Ken Anderson. When I prayed for my future husband, I prayed for a man who genuinely loves Jesus with every piece of himself and that he actively pursues Jesus with every second of every day. I also prayed that he would be incredibly handsome, smart, funny, and just about every good quality that a man could have. But honestly, I didn't believe that the Lord would actually give me a man who actually checks off every single one of those things and so much more. Tyler, you are everything I've ever prayed for. You are a wink to me from the Lord as he says to me, 
Didn't I tell you that if you delight yourself in me, I will give you the desires of your heart? Hannah, you are more beautiful than any woman I could have ever imagined marrying in every aspect of the word. You are kind beyond belief, you are sweeter than I deserve, and you are quick to forgive and mend what is broken. Every room is brighter when you walk in, every conversation is deeper when you give, when you give words to it. <sighs> and every heart is glad when you extend your arms to give a hug, <laughs> especially to me. <laughs> because I like your hugs. <laughs> your desire to know the Lord and for others to know him more is inspiring to me and everyone around you. You are quick to forgive and even quicker to ask for forgiveness. You sing praises so loudly before the Lord and you don't care what anyone thinks about it. You are constantly seeking to be a better man of God and you are equally strong and gentle. You love me no matter what I look like, no matter what I've said or done, and no matter what kind of day it's been. You love Jesus so much more than you love me. I want to spend every single good day and every single bad day with you, and you give me strength and encouragement to do every hard thing. By marrying you, I now get the privilege to have a teammate for life, and I look forward to the freedom found in community with the one God has made for me. Ben Stewart said that freedom, <laughs> Freedom is not the absence of boundaries, it's the ability to fulfill created intent. Scripture says that my created intent in marriage is to serve you, even to the point of death, which I vow to do. I vow to always be faithful to you, to always cheer for you, to always fight for you, and to always provide for you. I promise to always value my relationship with Jesus more than my relationship with you, as without him, I cannot love you in the way that he designed me to. To know you is to know Jesus better. Thank you for challenging me, for pursuing me, and for choosing me. It is by the Lord's perfect grace that he has brought us here today. And the joy that has come from pursuing Jesus with you is indescribable. It's my joy, Hannah, to honor you as my wife. And I pray every day that I will make you feel cherished and cared for. What love I have, I give to you, my sweet Hannah. So at this point, I think I've answered King Solomon's first question. A wife of noble character, who can find? I have found you. <laughs> In the book of James, there's an incredible promise that says, if we will draw near to God, He will draw near to us. The secret to the two of you staying close to each other for the rest of your lives is for each of you to continually, day by day, moment by moment, draw near to God. Tyler and Hannah, based on your commitment to each other before God and these witnesses and having pledged your love to each other for the rest of your lives by the power vested in me, by the great state of Texas and by God himself, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Anderson. We're married now. Hannah, Hannah, look at this. Look at this. We're filming. We got married just now. Maybe it's just left turns off familiar streets. I just want to come back with a memory. Growing up doesn't mean getting older. I don't care. for the new Mr. and Mrs. Anderson!
Hannah's little sister is truly such an honor in itself. Um, she's so radiant and kind, and people are just drawn to her because she's so loving. And if you've had a conversation with her, you know that she's always asking about you and really wanting to get to know you and how you're doing. And it's genuine, and she really cares. And she's your biggest fan always. When I heard Hannah was going on dates with a boy named Tyler, I immediately did my research as any protective little sister would. <laughs> All I knew is that his name was Tyler Anderson and that he was pretty popular on YouTube. And it wasn't his fishing channel that came up first, it was another channel of his. And it was him singing a cover of Build My Life. And I immediately said to my roommates, they're gonna get married. <laughs> um, I had never met Tyler, but from what I saw in his video, I could tell that he loved Jesus more than anything. And I thank God that that was true. Hannah. No one is perfect, but in my eyes you truly do have no flaws. I look up to you more than anyone that I know. You found someone to run this race and fulfill Christ's mission with. I could not be more proud to be your little sister, and I could not be happier for you. I know you're going to be the most amazing wife. Tyler. <laughs> your heart for Jesus was evident in the first video I watched of you worshiping. It's evident in your joy, your work ethic, and the way you love my sister. Y'all push each other to follow Jesus daily. You added something so special to our family, and I'm so happy I can finally call you my brother-in-law. <laughs> I can't imagine someone more perfect for her. So first of all, before I say anything, I want to say to my daughter, Hannah, you look absolutely stunning. And you are so blessed that you take after your mother. Because 90% of that beauty came from your mom, and I am lowballing, okay? I asked you, I said, well, tell me a little bit about Tyler. What's he like? And she said, well, he likes to fish. He's got his own YouTube fishing channel. He's on the A&M fishing team. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, the only fish, the only types of fish Hannah knows about is fried, baked, and grilled. So I don't know how this is going to work. But then I thought about it, and I thought, well, he likes to catch fish, and uh, she likes to cook fish, so this is perfect. Individually, they're super special people. Tyler is one of the most sacrificial people I've ever met in my entire life. Um, literally every single time I think I get in the car, he gives me a phone call just asking me about how my life's going, just catching up with me. There's seriously not a day I feel like that goes by that he doesn't shoot me a text or, or just give me something encouraging. And Hannah's the same way, such a joyful person, super kind. Um, every single time I just leave a conversation with her, you know, she just lights up the room. Always remember that it's not about the ring or any material thing that you have. It's about the love that you two have for each other and the love that you have for Lord. That will last forever. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses in honor of the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Anderson. May God richly bless the rest of your days.